Hi everyone, welcome back to the official Visual Studio YouTube channel. And today we are taking a look at feature search. You may or may not know that Visual Studio has been around for a while. And over the years, lots and lots of features and functionalities have been built into it. And no matter how hard you work at keeping up to date with shortcuts and menus, it's just not possible. So feature search is that one thing, that one feature, that one shortcut that you can use to find anything and everything in terms of functionality inside of Visual Studio. Personally, I'm a big fan of the fact that now you can use the shortcut control shift P to bring up feature search. And it gives you that uh, kind of muscle memory uh, if you are a VS Code user, control shift P for the command palette. But I'm gonna let Leah, PM, on the team that's working to make this uh, feature better and better for you all, come talk to you a little bit more about feature search. So Leah, take it away. Hi, my name is Leah, and I'm a product manager on the Visual Studio Editor team, focusing on search and navigation. And I'm here to talk to you about a tool that you can use in Visual Studio to find all the tools, menu options, settings that you need in Visual Studio without having to go through any other documentation or scrolling through all the different options that are available. It makes things a lot simpler for finding those things. Because the IDE has been around for a long time now, so it's accumulated a lot of different features, and it can be overwhelming to remember all those different locations, all the shortcuts that you need to use, and the ones that you only need once in a while, and also anything new that you're trying to figure out how to use. So with this new tool, it's called Feature Search, and you can open this up with Control Q, or control shift P because it works pretty similarly to the command palette in VS code. And once you do that, it'll open up this real time search window where if you start typing, it'll start searching immediately with what you've typed. So for example, let me look for breakpoint and then you can see all the different options related to the breakpoint. So I can point you to the example for breakpoint type as to help guide it a little bit there. And you can see that it would open up the breakpoint window right down there. You can see that to, with this window example here, it also tells me how to access it outside of feature search. So if you prefer using the menu options or prefer using keyboard shortcuts to directly access certain things, you can also learn how to do it from this window. So for the example of breakpoints, it tells me that I can go to the debug option windows, breakpoints to open it up or I can use control alt B where I am in the IDE to open up this window. Another thing to keep in mind about feature search is that it's pretty flexible with what you're typing. So if I didn't type out the whole thing for breakpoints, it usually can do a pretty good job at finding everything related to breakpoints. Or even if I had a typo introduced in there, like I forgot the end, it's still able to do a pretty good job figuring out things that are related to breakpoints. Let me show you also, some of the things you could do with commands, you can see that there is delete all breakpoints commands here, but if I made sure that I have my cursor in a good place in here where I could add a breakpoint and use feature search, you can see if I reload the results there, I'm getting the other command options that are applicable in this context. So if you're looking for a command that you want to use in a specific place, make sure that you're in the right context there so you can get those right options. In this case, if I want to add a conditional breakpoint, I can do it from here. And you can see the UI open up there and I can move on with my task as is. Another thing I wanted to show is how we can use the feature search to access different settings. This window is pretty good at jumping you to the right page in tools options. So you don't need to go through scrolling through a bunch of the different nodes and tool options or trying to locate the exact thing you need. Instead, you could type it in here and it'll jump you to that right place. So if I was looking for the font options so that I can figure out how to use the new settings that we added for italics, underline, and strike through, I can simply type fonts they'll find that page open for me. Then I can look through the page to find what I'm looking for. So in this case, I found the italics right through and underline options right here. And that's an intro to feature search. I encourage you to try it out to access the things you, you need to use and configure. Thank you so much, Leah, for showing us a little bit about how to leverage feature search. Everyone be sure to check out the resources linked in the description 
So you can learn more about this and it's going to help you find what you need in terms of functionality inside of Visual Studio. Do let me know if you have any feedback, anything you want to see improved about the feature. We'll be paying attention to all the comments. All right. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.